Cheers, guys. How's it going? Here is hidden the worst bungling of Piaggio ever. It's so bad. Annoys hundreds of thousands of people worldwide, I bet. Cover at the casing, a speciality of Vespa engines. The cover at the sits in a closed case. Usually there are rubbers everywhere and it's a closed room. Here connected to the frame where the fresh air comes in from that hole under the seat. What does a flooded engine, ground engine mean? In case of a Vespa, it does not mean that the engine connected here over the intake is full of fuel it just means that the air in this room here in this closed casing is too rich so the engine cannot start too rich air means at a Vespa engine that kind of the engine is drowned it's a flooded engine but remember it doesn't need to be a lot of fuel in the engine just the air inside the casing is enough that you will have warm start issues the engine does not start what i want to show you here is the biggest bungling of piaccio ever it is so bad it's just really bad engineering missing technical common sense for the explanation we don't need the carburetor, we just need the fuel chamber and the filter chamber lid, filter chamber lid and the carb casing lid, it sits here, very close to each other. And the thing is, if you check these parts for marks, you will discover often some stripe mark here. Let's drive it off the LED mark. You see this here? If there is a stripe mark, something did hit this small lid. You see it? Something did stripe. So take the second part that could actually hit and if you check it in detail what will you find you will find the other mark this means that these two parts did hit each other And what does it cause when even metal get marks, deep marks that you can really feel on both parts? It means that this lid was squeezed to one side. So what will happen if the lid is hit? The lid will move. It will open on one side and when it opens on one side, it will start leaking. And think of my explanation before. Too much fuel in closed carb casing means that the engine drowns. You have massive warm start issues. This is really, really, really bad because it's annoying. So many people all over the world. These two parts are hitting each other. You do find the marks. It's like this, and it hits, and the vibrations of the engine, etc., and so on. Um, it has a wrong shape. It's so close to each other, when the rubber that is on the carb casing gets old or is even missing, then this can touch each other. But in general, it is just the wrong shape. A little bit more uh, out of shape here, and it would be fine. How can you solve it? And this was just part one. I will show you the second part of the bungling in a second. Um, you just take a hammer and make more space.
Cause who cares what it looks? What it looked. Most important thing is that it can start a warm engine. Nothing more annoying. Even if you have no electric start. When the engine is not starting anymore. Just hammer it and make space here so that these two parts can not touch each other. Check the parts, you will mostly find these marks and they are actually causing the flooded drowned engine symptom of Vespa carburetors. But that was just part one. Part two! What's part two in combination with this carb casing lid? problem. Fuel chamber. Fill the chamber. This threat here. It's high, isn't that? Can you see that? Yeah, you can. Yes. There's a threat. And it's here for fixing this lid. There's the screw. Yeah. What happens if you tighten the screw? You tighten the screw in the middle and it shall put on pressure on the outer side here to tighten up the filter chamber. There's a rubber or paper gasket sitting underneath so you need a certain pressure outside here that everything is tight and nothing is drowning here so look at this the problem is that there are at least three types of different lids you see this lid it has a certain shape you see this part it has a certain height these two parts need to fit each other in a certain way and what you often can't see at carburetors even new ones from Spacco, from Pinasco, whatever they're all Spacco is the issue we have here you see the thread is too high or the lid is too small because the lid sits on the thread and it wiggles, you see? And this comes on top of the carp casing lid issue, hitting the lid. The second issue is that often there's a wrong lid used and or the thread is too high. So in general, it is not really tight. And then even the carp casing lid does hit this lid. So a lot of fuel will leak here and cause this flooded engine and warm start issues. Solution is this thread has to be shortened. It has to be lower than where the lid sits. Because the lid sits here at the outer edge. And thread has to be lower that there is a gap between these two parts because then you can put in the screw so the screw pushes down the middle of the lid and uh, makes put some pressure on the outer side and with that rubber gasket here it will ensure that everything is tight you can solve it you don't have to try a lock and find the right lid. You just take a rasp and shorten this thread. No worries how it looks. The screw will always bite. You see? It's fine. Now, put on the lid again and check 
if we now do have the gap. And you see, we have a gap now. The thread is lower than the top of the lid. So if you put the screw in, it will push the middle of the lid down and can raise some pressure on the outer side to ensure that this is tight. Guys, thanks for listening. If you like what you saw, don't forget to subscribe. See you. Cheers. <laughs> if there's a little bit too much fuel inside this closed casing because the carburetor is leak leaking, leaking <laughs> a good one the carburetor is leaking the very first start no start to spray nothing just fuel let's see how this goes fuel is here Whoa!